is Stephanie here, and I'm with Koa. Um, for this video, we're going to be working on our loose leash walking. Now, with our loose leash walking, it's really to prevent our dogs from pulling us down the street. Now, even though Koa is somewhat tiny right now, I'm sure he's going to get much bigger and he's going to get a lot more muscle. So we want to make sure that he knows how to walk and he continues to be able to walk well. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start. I have two different methods that I like to use. So I'm going to teach you both of them. And then I want you to go home and practice every single walk. Now that you guys are going to learn the methods, every single walk, you cannot let him pull you, okay? So first things first, I'm going to give Koa the whole leash. So he has the whole leash to be able to pull, okay? First thing, the first method is called the stop and back. So stop and back method. So I'm going to do just that. As soon as Koa starts pulling, I'm going to plant my feet. I'm going to take my hand, put it down next to my side. This is giving him the, um, the illusion that I either have a treat or that I'm going to give affection. As soon as I put my hand down, I'm going to give a little snap to get his affection, and I'm going to tell him back. As soon as he comes back to me, then we can continue walking. So this is helping Koa understand that I get to lead the walk because I'm the alpha dog. Koa does not get to lead me in the walk. I get to lead the walk. So, we're going to practice a little bit. Remember, anytime with loose leash walking, we don't need treats. Okay? The treat is, the reward is, we get to continue walking. Good boy. So, we're going to practice a little bit. So, come on, come on. Let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. So, we're going to walk around. As soon as he starts pulling, let's pretend like he's pulling right now. I'm going to say, go oh, back. What? And then we continue walking. So, I just plant my feet, bring him back to me. As soon as he stop, stops pulling and comes back in my direction, we can continue walking, okay? So come on, back. Good, and then we continue walking. Good job, bud. Good job, this looks good. So this is helping him understand that he needs to walk with you and not walk you. Come on, back. Good. So I'm not even pulling on the leash. I know a lot of times, as soon as our dogs start to pull, our automatic first reaction is to pull back. So make sure when Co is pulling, you don't pull back, because otherwise he's gonna see it as a game and he's gonna be like, I can pull you harder, and he's just gonna go in the opposite direction and keep pulling. So we don't want him to do that. We want him to understand and learn that he needs to work with us. Okay? So that's the first method is the stop, plant your feet, Snap your finger, bring him back to you, okay? And then you can continue walking. That's the first method, good boy. Second method I call the this way. So basically, Ko and I are walking. As soon as Ko starts pulling, so as soon as my leash is nice and tight, that's when I know Ko is pulling. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop, and instead of pulling him back to me, I'm gonna switch direction and say, Ko, this way. Good. So this is helping Koa understand that he needs to follow the leader. I am the leader, he needs to follow me. So Koa, this way, this way. Good job. So what I'm doing is I'm stopping. I give Koa's leash just a little jiggle, letting him know, oh, I'm going this way. And I'm saying, this way. And he automatically falls in line and follows me, okay? So, you're gonna look funny out there walking around your neighborhood saying, up, oh, back, up, oh, back, up, oh, back, or going this way, this way, this way. But I swear it will help and Koa will learn how to walk correctly, okay? But you have to make sure that you don't let him get away with walking poorly. Don't let him get away with pulling. As soon as he pulls, do one or the other of the methods, okay? Good job, good job. So, you can decide which one works better for you. Sometimes this way works much better for people. Sometimes they like the back method. Try them both, work with them both, see which one works better for you guys and Koa, okay? So every time you guys go on a walk, you need to make sure he doesn't pull. So do one or the other method. This means you guys need to be walking at least three times a week for at least 20 minutes or so. Practice both methods, okay? So, I'm going to show you both methods again. So, if I'm out walking with Koa, good job, Koa, let's go on a walk. Let's go on a walk. As soon as he starts pulling, I'm going to say, Koa, back. As soon as he comes back, we get to continue.
continue walking. Come on, let's go. Now, the this way method is as soon as he starts pulling in one direction, I'm going to do 180 degrees, and I'm going to say this way. You can even give the leash a little jiggle on that one. Give him a little heads up that you're going the opposite direction. And he's going to follow right with you, okay? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Now, both of these methods seem super, super easy, and um, they really are. You just need to practice them and keep consistent, okay? So every time Koa pulls, do the stop and back, or switch directions and tell him this way. What's great is that my dog has learned the word this way so well that I'll be walking in the house and I'll say this way and he automatically falls right in line with me, okay? So practice both the methods. Remember at least three walks a week. Do at least 20 minutes. Every time he pulls, don't let him get the best of you. Stop and try one of the methods, okay? So good luck practicing with the walking. <laughs> And I know he's going to do great, so this is Stephanie and Koa, and today we were practicing our loose leash walking.